Camera shopping, if you've done it, you know <laughs> it can be tough. There are so many different kinds and prices range from $100 into the thousands of dollars. Consumer Reports has tested every type of camera and helped narrow things down, beginning with the best waterproof camera. Well, it really depends on uh, what types of photography you're interested in. Um, in. In the summertime, uh, one really nice type of camera that's uh, really come up in terms of quality in the uh, past several years is the waterproof camera. We test a bunch of them, and um, these are really great for jumping in. Uh, they're actually waterproof. You can jump into a pool or the ocean, um, and you can even drop them from a few feet, and they'll, uh, they're will they really rugged. We have won the Olympus um, Stylus Tough TG870. Uh, it's about 280, and um, it really does a, a great job of taking those type of photos. It's got wide angle, uh, 21 millimeter at the wide angle. That, that allows you to get more people or more of a landscape shot, and it even has a swiveling um, LCD. So when you're on land, you can uh, articulate the, you can angle the uh, LCD and take hard to read shots and still see what you're shooting. Oh, interesting. That's a good recommendation. What about in a more advanced point and shoot camera? What do you recommend? Sure. Uh, well, the point and shoots, uh, there are types of cameras that um, are really rivaling the quality that you get on SLRs and, and those type of advanced cameras. The Canon PowerShot um, G7X uh, Mark II, uh, that for instance um, has lots of manual features. So for instance, you can adjust the shutter or aperture to really get creative with your shots. Um, it has um, a really, um, a re really does a wonderful job with video as well. So that's the type of camera that you really will take your uh, shots to the next level, particularly above what you're able to shoot in low light, for instance, with your smartphone. All right, very interesting. A lot of people in the summertime visit the national parks and you really want to have a good camera to capture the scenery. Do you recommend splurging on an SLR? Is that a good buy for most people or do you have to be an advanced photographer to do that? Well, actually, it's, it's, it's it's, it's really interesting with the way um, the advanced cameras, even uh, the expensive uh, SLRs, for instance, the Nikon D500, that's in our uh, ratings that we uh, highly recommend. It's a $3,000 camera, but it really allows you to um, get um, everywhere from the a novice all the way up to the advanced uh, shooter. And what I mean by that is uh, you can set it in an auto mode and basically let the camera do all the work for you, or you can gradually get into more complicated types of settings. For instance, um, a step above a, a super auto mode might be what's called a scene mode. For instance, if you're sp shooting sports, uh, you can set the sports scene mode and it'll take uh, action shots um, in that sort of uh, setting. And if you're going to a park, uh, it'll do uh, really miraculous uh, images, particularly in low light settings, uh, uh, dramatic sunsets, for instance, it'll do a great job, uh, particularly where, uh, for instance, in the shadow areas or the bright highlight areas, it'll still keep those details right in where you want them. It can be a very intimidating choice. There are so many options on the market. Are there any pitfalls that you want to avoid? Um, I would say, um, uh, well, one of the things I, I mentioned, uh, you know, if you're interested in an advanced camera and you want to get creative, don't be afraid of those larger cameras, the SLRs, the mirrorless cameras, because uh, that'll really step up your game, but you can use them just like a point-and-shoot camera. So it can be completely automated for you and gradually get you into uh, shooting uh, more creative types of photos um, and, and tweaking the manual setting. Great advice and a lot more at ConsumerReports.org. Terry, so nice to talk to you today. Thanks so much. Have a great summer. You bet. You too. Take care. Good information. And they also had another tip. Consumer Reports recommends that you try before you buy. Make sure that the camera fits comfortably in your hand and it's not so big or heavy that you'll prefer to leave it at home. Well, that happens a lot of times. Yeah. You get a big clunky camera. So many choices oh. and you can spend a lot of money quickly on yeah. cameras. The one that they highly recommend, that Nikon, was $3,000. Yeah, but that a, was the top You need to refinance rated. the house for that one. <laughs> yeah, right, but you have pretty pictures. <laughs> You're great pictures. No kidding.